Have you ever seen one? Have you ever met one? Since the day I was born, I always felt like an outsider, even in my homeland. It's almost like I didn't quite connect with anyone, but yeah, I still did somehow. Inside of me, I always made a home, a place where I can belong to. first recognized that sanctuary as a child, pushing away the reality of arriving to a new strange place. Halfway asleep in my father's arms, I was carried down the path of an airport with bright lights. From time to time I would close my eyes and dwell in the comfort of simplicity. It was suddenly interrupted by the outermost mayhem. Cars honking their horns, people in a rush, busy pavement echoing the footing of our existence. But the snow, those white soft flurries coming down fascinated me beyond belief. Even on the bus, I stared at it through the window, feeling its warmth. Despite how cold it really was, I found myself with a new sense of dislocation on my first day of school. I had yet to learn a foreign language and acclimate myself to new surroundings. The clean smell of the hallways made me nauseous. Being introduced to the class by my teacher made me even more self-conscious as I didn't understand the questions. I wonder what my classmates really thought of me in that instant. I cried and wanted to run away, far away from the abandonment of my parents, the abandonment of what I like to call a home. While other kids got picked up by their parents, I was responsible enough to go home alone and do my homework while making something to eat. Both of my parents worked hard it seemed as they were always away. I would see them at night and in the morning before school. I would drop off my father on the same street with my mother holding my hand, waiting and hoping that this time I'll get picked up for labor work. It's a reality that I didn't understand then, but felt its complexity and heartbreak. By now, my life as a young adult, I felt nothing but American. I understood its lifestyle and the way of the language, but most importantly, how lucky I was. But yet, 
I wasn't an American. At this point in my life, I needed to fend for myself. And I felt somewhat hopeless in doing so. I couldn't just go out and get a simple job that required basic documentation, as I couldn't obtain it for one reason or another. I found myself living in my father's shadow, having to get any job available in my status. I didn't exist because of my legal status. I wasn't allowed to go to college. The system had failed me. I lived in constant fear of being deported back to a country whose language I didn't speak anymore. So, I am technically an adult, and I am responsible for myself. So what do I do next? At this point in my life, I had no choice but marriage for convenience to resolve my status. I have saved up enough money after much hard work to be able to pull this off. All in all, there is some truth in what I'm doing. But the marriage is understood to be more business than love. I'm a realist. I found someone who apparently understood my situation and seemed to want to help. We married and set everything up to make it seem as real as possible. At first, this person seemed honest and straightforward, but over time things began to change. Little threats were being made and they always seemed to find a way to remind me no matter what happens, I'd be the one to lose. Then I was asked for more and more money until there was not more to give. Next thing I knew, I was moving urgently to a friend's place and I have lost all the contacts with the person I had married. I'm not even sure where my application stood with immigration and I was too afraid to ask. One morning after many months, at 5 a.m., these officers with the letters I-C-E showed up where I was staying. They stated they were looking for me. I was taken in handcuffs and was properly detained. At that point, I felt my mind go. I had no understanding of what was going on. I don't even know how long I was imprisoned for. I sat and thought about all those fake promises, all those fake identities. I tried and tried, but the bleakness of my situation overwhelmed me. I was too tired to fight. No lawyers, no one was able to save me now. I went to the beginning, 
to the end and back again to figure out how I ended up in that place. Guilty, yes, if that's what they wanted me to admit. Guilty, I was guilty. Guilty of trying to resolve my status. Guilty of trying to live the American dream. Guilty of being a survivor. Guilty of being an alien, an illegal alien. So deportation came along and I went from country to country, from airport to airport from place to place till I touched where it's home now. Home, I am home mother, guilty. I am guilty mother. <laughs>